What's up, Okra Heads? Halo Okra Heads here. We're doing some Bowler and Miner the Boner strategy at the Town Hall 10. A new way to do it. So, usually what in the past, how I've done it, you put, drop the Golem and then you kind of create the funnel for the Bowlers to go first, like the Kill Squad, and then bring in the Miners afterwards. This time, we're going to change it up. I saw this and I really like it. We're going to use the go one Golem still in the Clan Castle. Or not in the clan castle, but with you. And then the rest miners. So you're going to drop the golem, then the miners, and then the bowlers. So what's actually going to be happening is the miners are really tanking and providing that extra protection for the bowlers. So the miners are really the kill squad in essence. I mean, they work pretty much almost immediately after each other. But see, you're just keeping the bowlers up as long as possible. So this is a max Town Hall 10 base, everything but the heroes. Now I know it's not the best base design, guys, so understand that. But still, hard to get an attack on. I mean, Town Hall 10 three stars are extremely difficult, even with poor base designs. I mean, yes, the Inferno Towers are in the core there at the same time, that's not good. But it is compartmentalized, so it can cause a lot of problems, I think, for bowlers. Um, but with the miners and bowlers, it works great. As you can tell, you know, when I'm here in the core, everything's going great, and I'm curious, what do I do with that last heal spell? And I did put it in the core there. I probably should have saved it for my miners, maybe towards the south. I did get a little fortunate, though. Look at that king providing the tanking protection for those bowlers in the south there. The queen is still has her ability left, and she'll get a few units down before she tumbles and dies. But this is going to come down to the wire. Again, Town Hall 10 attacks. I'm going to do a video on... Uh, the success rate of Town Hall 10 attacks, max Town Hall 10 attacks, and we'll bring that out next time. But there, as you can tell, I love this strategy. It's a little slight twist to the already boner strategy, and I think this is more powerful. Uh, I haven't, uh, I've only used it a couple times, but here in this war, at a perfect war, and my second attack was. Uh, against a, a Town Hall 10, a, yes, another bad base design, and this is not even maxed out, so I should three-star this considering the poor base design. Again, the same strategy, dropping the Golem first, then the Miners on either side. I put a few Bullers on one end to make sure the funnel, all the rest of the Bullers will go to the core, and then I'm able to just kind of dogpile all of my troops in the center there. Nothing's gonna stop these Bullers. Uh, the pathing right towards the core, drop the freeze. I did a little early early because I didn't get the clan castle, but it's okay. The queen will come up and take care of that baby dragon, so no worries about that. I have bowlers right into the core, and the miners are still up. This is a total mayhem attack. So I have one heal spell left. I was a little unsure where to put it. I couldn't see my miners when I attacked, so I kind of was like, what am I gonna do? So I put it there, it really wasn't a good spot. I should have used it at a better location, but as you can tell, look at my loons in the back end. I like bringing uh, two or three loons, just in case, you know, it, it provides a little extra firepower for the back. Anyways, there you go. The new boner strategy, I think, um, using miners first as the tank, the bowlers really saving their life as much as possible. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo.